So as you can see here in this email, uh, you know, Shelly Finkel once again is, you know, establishing an honest rapport between the fans and what's really going on and is displaying complete transparency, whereas Eddie Hearn is lying and continue to lie, and continue to lie and continue to lie. And, and, you know, you can just give him the rope and he's just continuously um, making that noose tighter and tighter around his neck. Uh, and thus he's dragging uh, a large contingent of the UK fan base with him. So as you guys can see in this email, um, once again, vindication, um, you know, I, I really don't at this point, I really don't know what to say other than um, I, I'm dealing with a bunch of idiots. Uh, it, it, that's really what it comes down to your mental capacity to understand or to recognize when you are being hustled, when you are being told the truth is non-existent. Your ability to cognitively work your way through uh, from point A to point B doesn't exist. And listen, over here on my channel, on my page, you know, I'm never going to um, sugarcoat anything. I don't care how much you guys come to my videos and call me out my name and say this or say that. It does not matter to me. OK, because, again, there's that classic saying, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for everything. And I am not a follower. I am a leader. And it comes down to that somebody's got to take a stand and somebody's got to spit the real truth. And the real truth is a lot of you UK boxing fans are very ignorant, very ignorant, very shallow, very uh, self-absorbed and self-involved in your, your, your cultural, cultural position on thinking that you're above it all. And I'm never gonna allow you to come on my channel, which is the American platform, and disrespect American fighters, disrespect American media platforms, disrespect the American boxing fan. So again, look at the email yourself, you be the judge. Was I lying? Didn't, was Ness wrong? Was 78 Sports TV out of line? Were there any of us out of line when we continuously tell you that Eddie Hearn is literally tying the noose around his neck and he is going to fail utterly when it comes to establishing any sort of position here in the American boxing media market? It's not going to happen. 